Hello and welcome back to this new video of mine. I want to cover today a perfect guide to quantum leaping. What is it? How can you do it? And that's just what I say in every single video, I feel like. But we're really gonna cover some techniques that you can do and also make you just understand the basics of quantum jumping or quantum leaping. I have my laptop here so that I can properly tell you all the things you need to know to quantum shift your reality now. So if you're interested in the law of attraction, you probably or actually most likely have already heard of the term quantum leaping. So what it is, it is an instant shift in your current state or in your reality basically. So a lot of people refer to it as like you're changing your reality in an instant. You can also see it for example with Marvel in the metaverse, but just that you're basically not Doctor Strange but you're a real human being and not fiction. So we're gonna talk about all that kind of magic today and how you can do it yourself because it's actually based on physics and it's not some hocus pocus. First up, what is quantum jumping or quantum leaping? So I have to look at my notes because I'm terrible at physics and I have no clue about it. I was never good at it in high school and there's a reason why. So I'm gonna make this as easy digestible for you as possible but also for me because I'm not that great at it. As I said this entire concept is based on quantum physics. Everything we have in our reality has to vibrate on a certain frequency. So for example the table I'm sitting at right now has to vibrate at a certain frequency for it to exist. Same as the laptop, same as the camera I'm recording this with. You would not exist without vibrating on a specific frequency right now. We already covered the concept of different frequencies and matching the frequency of what you want to attract but quantum jumping basically is picking up that concept of vibrating on a frequency that also means that everything you're seeing around you has to vibrate and constantly shift to exist. Everything, so now we're getting into the details, everything except energy is made out of atoms. Atoms we've probably heard in physics before, at least I did, and if I can remember that, that's a good thing. And these atoms can instantaneously travel and shift between different states. States is very important to note here because states is like a physical term, but I'm gonna actually translate it into a mindset term. For example, you might be feeling very low right now, so you're in a very low vibrational state but you can shift in a higher vibrational state by shifting your emotions but these atoms that we just talked about they can never be at two places at once so you need to shift and they need to shift states and realms basically in order to like travel and that entire concept of these atoms to travel between two places is called a quantum jump or a quantum leap because first this atom was here and suddenly it appears over here so it is an instant shift like this. If we're adapting this now to the concept of manifestation, our world is therefore also constantly shifting and adapting and that means that we can mold our current world based on our mindset into what we want, that we can shift our mindset, that we can shift our frequency at any given moment. So you have to shift first, you have to become the version of you that you want to be in order to embody and attract the version you want to become. Be the shift first and then things will start happening for you. But also as I said, be the shift first so you also have to take action. And this is like the three step basic underlying concept that I talked about in my Manifesting 101 podcast episode already, so check that one out. If you're curious, so what I want to do now is I want to break it down into, into a few action steps that you can take to quantum shift your reality right now. Because I feel like the common misconception there is about quantum jumping is that it has to happen overnight. Like you're gonna have a thought right before you go to bed and then you wake up in a different reality. Like everything changed. Like suddenly you have a boyfriend, you're a billionaire and I don't know what. That's just simply not possible. Maybe that's a limiting belief, but I feel like that is really... We need a time delay. We need a time delay to take action towards the things we want. So the only thing that can shift instantly is our state our emotions what we put out that is what can change and your outer reality will adapt to it but the outer reality is simply not as important as how you're operating up here if you're operating in a positive and in a reflected and very caring way it is way more likely for you to attract good things it's way more likely for you to be focused on the things you want go after them and get them but all this what is happening around you is just a reflection of your thoughts it's just a reflection of your thought patterns if you're thinking of something in a very negative way it is going to appear to you in a negative way so that's how you pick it up and then you're always going to have the negative connotation so for example if I say I don't like onions, if I then see an onion or if I have to eat an onion, I hate it, right? Like, it is giving me a lower vibration. It's all based on your mind because other people can love onions. I know that's like a bit of a stupid example right now. It still highlights that everything that's going on here is how you're gonna 
perceive your world. So some people describe it as that different versions of you are existing at the same moment. I don't know if I necessarily believe in that because your actions and the decisions you're making right now can affect which person you're going to become and in which state you're going to travel to, right? You can always make the choice of where you want to go. And I think there are multiple ways things can go for you, but that does not mean that there is like this exact person of you existing right now and that you can just become that person. You can embody that version of you that you want to be, yes, but it's not like in a hocus pocus way. Now we're gonna get into some techniques that you can do in order to travel and shift your state instantly. So first what you can do is visualize, of course. I also already did a podcast episode on visualization. I can just link everything to my podcast right now. Everything we're talking about is already covered in my podcast, so just go over there and listen after this video though. Visualization can technically be practiced anytime you want, so it can be practiced in the morning, in the evening, whenever, and also it's very effective to do it during meditation because during meditation your consciousness calms down and your subconscious is more awake, more alert, and it's gonna be more awake to also take information in, and this is what's gonna reprogram your subconscious and make things in your life actually happen because you're gonna be the change. Visualization is very powerful because it reminds you of where you want to go. It reminds you of what your ideal life is gonna be like and what it feels like. And that all connects into changing your feeling state. Therefore, visualization is just changing your emotions, changing how you feel, changing into the version of already having it. And already having it is the emotion and the state we want to be in in order to quantum leap. What you can also do is use affirmations. So if you've never heard of affirmations, they're basically positive sentences that are gonna shift the identity you define yourself as. So you could say, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am abundant, money flows to me with ease, I don't know, things like that. Everything that surrounds your self-concept. You can also do subliminals, for example. So these are silent and subconscious affirmations that are playing behind the music. So you don't hear them, you just hear the music and they're playing in the background, sort of. This can highly, highly impact your state because, as I said, it reprograms your subconscious. It reprograms how you show up as. It reprograms how you want to see the world and perceive the world. So changing your limiting beliefs, changing your state is basically all that quantum leaping really is. This is all what quantum leaping is intending to do for you to feel better. It is about you going for what you want. So meditation is as well very very powerful. If we talk about reprogramming your subconscious mind, I don't think we can talk about that without actually covering the concept of meditation, right? Meditation as well activates your subconscious and in this state you're more likely to pick up positive things and positive triggers in your life that are going to impact the way you see your world. To sum up everything right now, quantum leaping might sound very far-fetched and very surreal and for the first time hearing about it, it might sound like it's some hocus pocus type of shit, but it's not. Quantum leaping and quantum shifting is basically just physics and changing your state and becoming a different version of you that you want to be, embodying a different energy. As I said, be the change. That's the affirmation I want to give you on the way now. I am the change. I am creating my reality based on my own terms. This is today's affirmation. I hope you have a beautiful and blissful Sunday and I'm gonna see you in a few days. Bye!